What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another late night, another sci-fi picture. So from the previous one, there were a lot of recommendations for this film, Forbidden Planet. I don't know anything about it, which makes it all the more interesting. And we're going to get right into it as quickly as possible, because, Captain, we are a go. And so at last, mankind began the conquest and colonization of deep space. United Planets cruiser C-57D, now more than a year out from Earth base on a special mission to the planetary system of the great main sequence star, Altair. Very short, very succinct, very quick opening. So, colonization. What do we do in outer space? Where can we go? Great start. Warm in here, Skipper. Yeah. Jerry, you... <laughs> Any more closer than the entire spaceship would burn. As you'll recollect from your briefing lectures, this is an Earth-type planet. 20 years ago, the spacecraft Bellerophon landed here with a prospecting party of scientists. Our mission is to search for survivors. That is all. Okay, interesting. That's sort of where the mystery comes in. How many are, how many have left, how many scientists are left? How many people have survived? We are now entering the atmosphere of Altair IV. No survival suits will be required upon landing. Oxygen content, 4.7 richer than Earth standard. Gravity, only 0.897. So adjust your equipment accordingly, that is all. Wow, wouldn't that, isn't that, isn't that fascinating? It's, uh, it's... They don't need any equipment to even get on, except it's just, it's just lacking the population and all the material. Morbius E, PhD, Lit D, Expedition Philologist. Philologist? What do you wish here, cruiser? Well, you, you don't understand, sir. We're your relief. We're very glad to find you alive. I, of course, appreciate your concern, but absolutely no assistance of any sort is required. Well, the red carpet treatment, huh? That sounds like uh, Dr. Morbius is covering something up. Dr. Morbius, I require landing coordinates. Very well, but I wash my hands of all responsibility. Oh, wow, what an interesting, what an interesting line. This is, talk about the forbidden planet, nothing to do with the planet and its sort of hostile nature in terms of oxygen or gravity, but it's the pers the the singular people that are living in the planet that are occupying it. That's an interesting idea. All clear, sir. Look at I the would color suppose of this is a mix of onset with painted um, boarded backgrounds. <laughs> looks like we're being met. Wilson, aye, aye, sir. Hold the tractor. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, that was a fantastic shot. It really reminded me of the first time, well, not first time, but when Darth Maul comes in one of his own, like, motorcycles. Reminded me a lot of that for an odd reason. If you do not speak English, I am at your disposal with 187 other languages along with their various dialects and sub -tongues. Colloquial English sub tongues as you. well. That's amazing. However, that was programmed in. Who knows? Quinn, track this. If I blink red, I'll bring the tractor in a hurry, sir. Right. What what do they have to lose? <laughs> I mean, well, besides besides them being kidnapped, they're in a foreign planet, and there is no civilization to their sort of. Um, a brief, like, um, observation or analysis of the land. So, what do they have to lose? I'm sorry, sir, if we're not welcome, but we do have our orders. But of course, you must stay for lunch, gentlemen. And uh, do forgive the ill manners of an old recluse. Won't you come in? Uh, obviously, the question is being delayed or. And not, or he's probably going to dodge it. Where are all the other scientists? Don't uh, attribute feeling to him, gentlemen. Robbie is simply a tool. 
Tremendously strong, of course. He could quite easily topple his house off its foundation. Or in the wrong hands, mightn't such a tool become a deadly weapon? Well, there you go. There you go. That's the perfect question. Do you understand the mechanism? Yes, Morpheus. A simple blaster. All right. Now turn around here. And shoot me. Point it at the commander. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's one demonstration is to, uh, to have the example pointed at you. He's helpless, locked in a sub-electronic dilemma between my direct orders and his basic inhibitions against harming rational beings. Cancelled. If I yeah, were but that to can allow clearly that be continue, overridden. He would blow every circuit at in his some body. point. Obviously, Doctor Morbius would know how to do it. You've seen how comfortable I am here. No hardships, no special difficulties, and. Uh, no need at all for uh, military assistance. Now I dare say you're impatient to get back to base. Yes, sir. What if, what if the... Uh, but they have commands. They have commands to bring back Dr. Morbius. Oh, Lieutenant, look under biochemistry. Julia Marson. She and I were married by the skipper on the voyage here. I have the certificate. I thought Robbie had managed some very charming feminine touches. I take it Mrs. Morbius isn't at home today. My dear wife died a few months after the others. Only in her case, it was of natural causes. I'm very sorry. All of this could be made up. You have to take it with a grain of salt. Only in nightmares of those times. And yet, always in my mind, I seem to feel the creature is that's, lurking that's somewhere close at hand. That's certainly one way to... Sly and <laughs> like what he's trying to say, this evil force, is certainly one way to deter anybody from coming to this planet. Yes, I suppose... Uh, Suppose one day I shall be obliged to make the trip to Earth with her for the sake of her natural development. I should say fairly soon, too. Your father wasn't too happy at first about your meeting us, was he? Naturally not. You're from Earth. What's wrong with Earth? What has she been told about Earth? She's probably the first one born on this planet. That man is notorious throughout seven planetary systems. Dear, what does he do? Well, I, I don't feel free to discuss the shortcomings of a fellow officer, but any girl or woman who lets him get her alone, anywhere. <laughs> it, it, this is ridiculous. The, the, they're turning on each other for the affection of a woman so that they get exclusive, you know, um, um, sort of moments with her, if you will. Then my little girl never feels lonely or confined. I don't know. I have you and Robbie and all my friends. <laughs> friends? Uh, yes. Uh, perhaps you would better call them, my dear. All right. Call them. <laughs> oh, is it, if it's just more versions of Robbie or his nature or it's animals. He's as tame as a kitten. Outside of the range of my daughter's influence, it's still a deadly wild beast. Hmm. Well, question to ask. Are these real animals or were they synthetically produced? I don't know how Robbie would produce them since it's clearly above, like, way, way larger in size than he's capable of making, but who knows? Look out there, Commander. The Bellerophon party. Nineteen years ago, I dug those graves with my own hands. And I have, believe me, no wish to repeat that experience. The only question is what put them down there. Fasten your seat belts, gentlemen. Well, well, it, just just on its face value, the daughter seems completely innocent, like genuinely um surprised that they are other, you know, human beings other than her father. And the father, you know, good act, you know, besides his dark attire, which is sort of the, like, stereotypical villainous co color, archetypical, uh, archetype, um, he is interesting in itself. Like, what happened? Just about one jolt left. Oh, genuine ancient rocket bourbon. See here? <laughs> <laughs> oh man well 
they're they're gonna corrupt this poor guy. They're just gonna keep reproducing what they want, what their what their hearts or desires. <laughs> well, look at yourself. You see, you can't run around like that in front of men, particularly not a space wolf like Farmer. So for Pete's sake, go home and put on something that'll uh, anything. Again, this whole What's thing. You have to design think. them myself. Does the does the daughter know what she's doing? Does the father know what uh, you know? Using the daughter as sort of a tactic to get the men against each other. You know, you could you could ask these questions. How did the commander react to that? Well, he was furious. He seemed to think that all that about biology had something to do with me personally. I mean. I've been so nervous in all my life, and I hope I don't see him again if I live to be 400 million. Well, I dare say you won't well, have to. Well, now that she's reporting this to her dad, the dad knows off a, you know, a weakness, um, um, uh, sort of, how would you say, their vulnerable spots. Would diamond or emeralds do? Well, if they're large enough. Five, ten, and fifteen carats, and on hand. I will run the dress up for you in time for breakfast. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> More than a personal uh, attendant or assistant. This is bordering on sci-fi paranoia thriller. And Youngerford, let me see, you were asleep in your bunk. And you think you had a dream. A dream. Pending further evidence, you're deprived of space pay and all privileges. Well, me too, sir? No, me too, sir, we'll stand 20 extra watches. I'll have less dreaming aboard this ship. Wow. Dismissed. It would not it's the slow dismantling of the crew, uh, very fascinating. Uh, you know, it slowly trust begins to disintegrate. Track is ready, sir. Thank you, Steve. Hey, half a minute, Skipper. I'll change into a clean uniform. No, you better stay as you are. I'm leaving you in command here. Oh, I see. Establish the standard perimeter. Set up a class A alert. I want them enforced by sundown. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Look at that! He doesn't want to bring him. He doesn't want to bring him. He he, he goes off. He ventures on it by himself. So now now they they've reduced it to two visitors. Alta. <laughs> That's all right. He's my friend. <laughs> wow. Well. Uh, probably what she's thinking is, why did the tiger act out of its nature? And, my goodness, that blaster worked. Is he still in there? Hasn't come out. Oh, no, wait a minute, Skipper. Again, After all again, this, another house. thing is, is... What's the matter? Again, I'm speculating here, is what if the father probably is doing this, like, mass observational surveillance on them you know, as sort of collateral or like threats, um, he could gain evidence on these people and then send them back. You know, you never know. The, the father, uh, just just from what we've seen of him, he seems like a really smart guy. But it doesn't look like Egyptian, or cuneiform, or Chinese. You'll find the household silver in the dining room and my daughter's jewelry on her dressing table. Dr. Morbius. <laughs> this is a quite, quite the snarky comment. That recording was made by Krell musicians a half a million years ago. Now, if you will follow me, I will show you some of their other remaining wow. artifacts. Wow. 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 This, this seems... I don't know how to say it, but this seems like a modern film. The plot is very... It feels very modern. I feel like I've seen a film like this before. I've come here every day now for two decades, painfully picking up a few of the least difficult fragments of their knowledge. A thing like this, it's it's too big to evaluate. Think what a discovery uh, of this Dr. kind Morbius, will... Dr. Uh, Morbius, 
What is this device over here? Well, think about what 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 more he could be making if he if he spent another two more decades on it, and have exclusive rights to it. That's Altera. Simply a three-dimensional image, Commander. But it's alive. Because my daughter is alive in my brain from microsecond to microsecond while I manipulate. There. Ah, very interesting. Bringing your subconsciousness to a 3D, well, your imagination to a 3D representation. Child's play. I have an IQ of 161, yet I don't register a third what you did. Mm. Now the commander. Oh, boy. Well, it would be something if the commander has the highest one. That that's that would be certainly, you know, a conversation. It's all right, sir. A commanding officer doesn't need brains. Just a good loud voice, huh? Oh. How do I make an image? Did oh. you pull the switch? Don't stop. You never survived. <laughs> Our Bellerophon skipper tried it. Okay. That was a good that was a good that was a good one. Well, the total potential here must be nothing less than astronomical. Nothing less. The number ten? Raised almost literally to the power of infinity. The infinite power source. What is the? Why would he leave this place? Wait a minute. How on earth did they get this shot? This is fantastic. The shadows. The the mixture of Star Wars and Blade Runner. Seventy-eight hundred levels. It looks like one of those paintings where you know the, you're you're in a loop. You go, th you go, you you climb up the stairs and you're in a loop. You, like you could be lost in here. Uh, having completed my washing up duties after chow, I, I request the lieutenant's permission to take a little walk outside the perimeter, sir. There's nothing out there. But there is, sir. I mean, well, I thought it might brighten the boys' mess up a little bit. You know, if I if I could find a few wild radishes or something. <laughs> a few wild riders or drink some of it some of his you know uh whiskey uh, some of his nice liquor robbie i ain't never gonna forget this anytime you're hard up for a couple of gallons of lube I'll, you just let me know well <laughs> How is the robot up, out, of its, out of the vicinity of its home to begin with? It just came here to drop off six gallons. Shall I shut down the current, sir? No. No, it's stopped now. We'll check over the whole system first thing in the morning. Aye, sir. Hmm, that could be the evil invisible force that, well, the doctor was talking about. I'm surprised how Im how effective this. Well, this is very effective. It feels like a genuine sci-fi horror film. And I have come to the unalterable conclusion that man is unfit as yet to receive such knowledge, such almost limitless power. Well, he is a man, so he defeated his own statement. Uh, he's basically saying sole ownership. Such portions then of the Krell science as I may from time to time deem suitable and safe. I shall dispense to earth. Other portions I shall withhold. And in this, I shall be answerable exclusively to my own conscience and judgment. <laughs> That's a dictatorship. Skipper, the chief's been murdered. Quinn murdered? Yes, he was alone, working on the monitor. The rest of us were all outside on guard duty. I... How was it done? Done? Skipper, his body is plastered all over the communications room. All right, leave everything as it is. Plastered? <laughs> Okay, so the other scientists who were with him, are they really dead now? I first thought they were dead, but perhaps they could be alive. I don't know. Yet our visitor last night left the tracks of a biped. Primarily a ground animal, too. Yet this claw could only belong to an arboreal creature, like some impossible tree sloth. Just doesn't fit in the normal nature. Anywhere in the galaxy, this is a nightmare. Oh, well, they're not in their galaxy. They're in a forbidden planet. You were with the robot last night? Yes, sir. Him and me, we kind of got to toasting each other's good health. 
Just for casual interplanetary relations, you understand? Now, that's all the time. It's even while the chief was being killed. Well, certainly, sir. I hope you don't think I could have got that stiff in five minutes. <laughs> Look at that. This is perfect. This is perfect. Now, the, like, if if this film came out in modern times, it would be the perfect, like, sort of the thing or Reservoir Dogs, like... They're all slowly starting to dismantle. The commander is starting to lose trust. Um, this robot that seemingly can do anything is just... It just so happened to have been there giving him what he wants so that he can be an extra person inside the ship um, to provide an alibi or a witness. Fine technician. Good shipmate. And that's a good epitaph for any man. And, and speak about an important personnel to kill, they killed, they murdered, well, they chose to use the term murder, they murdered Quinn, who was very important. Remain here and the next attack on your party will be more deadly and general. How do you know that? No, I, I seem to visualize it. I... I mean, one, one way to try to get behind this is to ask the daughter if the daughter knows anything, which I'm assuming she does not. What is it, Randall? Sir, radar just picked up something. Where away? At the head of the Arroyo. Moving. This way, sir, slowly. <laughs> At one point, they're both talking about the, the daughter, and then now they're, it's it, the, this thing, this thing. The thing is coming for them. I talk about a well-made film, and, and the cinemascope really works in its favor. It's still coming! Great. Strong. Set up a crossfire on those rocks. Well, they're all just waiting for this la the, 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 the laser, the shield, to be uh, sort of activated in some way. And then they'll all start blasting away. <laughs> Wow, very cool animation, it, but it has sort of the characteristics of a lion or like an unknown g galactic beast. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm assuming that's not part of his imagination or any or any. I don't know, but it, it, how how is it possible for this animal, this beast, to be, you know, invisible? So now we just pick up the girl and her father, whether they like it or not, huh? Section 86A, evacuate all civilians from disaster area. You left out two very important words, where feasible. Now, if you remember the Bellerophon expedition, uh. <laughs> the ship was vaporized trying to lift off. Which makes it a guilt-edged priority that one of us gets into that Krell lab and takes that brain boost. Oh boy, not, not, it's going to be an outright battle trying to get them, to get them out, even if it is feasible. I am monitored to admit no one at this hour. How are you gonna? How are you? Well, after you've seen all he can do, how are you gonna get past him? Hasn't he got a built-in rule against wringing our little necks for us? That is true, sir. Yet I am monitored to admit no one. Now, what if they just forced their way in? Well, anyway, we fought it, and we lost. I figure it'll be back. You must leave now, darling. I'm not going without you. But I can't possibly leave him alone. I just can't. Then we'll take him. By force, I can't agree to that either. Can't you? You don't. It's it's it, it sounds it sounds it sounds funny just because we know the father's not gonna leave. Doc. On the sofa, Robbie. Oh, he probably went for the IQ booster. But the Krell forgot one thing. Yes, what? 
Monsters, John. Monsters from the id. The id? What's that? Doc, Doc. Doc. You're kidding me. He actually died. Well... Mind you, the uh, the father said he he was out for Morbius said he was out for a longer period of time, so kind of makes sense that this sort of shock would completely kill him. What is he? Ed? It, 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 it. It's a it's an obsolete term. I'm afraid one used to describe the elementary basis of the subconscious mind. Elementary basis for the subconscious mind. So yeah, so I'm guessing it is. It was his own subconscious mind that was creating that monster. And so those mindless beasts of the subconscious had access to a machine that could never be shut down. The secret devil of every soul on the planet, all set free at once to loot and maim, and take revenge, Morbius, and kill. My poor crow. My poor Corel, <laughs> as if he, he, he finds this a sympathetic connection to them. Well, this is one way of saying man is always against himself. Man will self-destruct no matter what, if left to themselves. Could Robbie be wrong? No, never. There it comes. Wow. <laughs> Robbie is also a, an invention based on the Corel, so... Could it also be Robbie? It's you. You're insane. How else would you have landed here? Alto must see you torn to pieces. Do you still think she's immune? She's joined herself to me, body and soul. Yes, and whatever comes, forever. Say it's a lie. Shout, let it hear you out there. Tell it you don't love this man. Not even if I could. Stop it, Robbie. Don't let it in. Kill it, Robbie. <laughs> Oh, interesting. It's it, it can't attack one of its own. Whatever you know and hear, your twin self out in the tunnel knows too. I'm not a monster, you. We're all part monsters in our subconscious, so we have laws and religion. Let me go. You've got to listen. We don't have much time. Oh well, they're, they're, that's Here. one way to see what's in his subconsciousness is to actually visualize it and see a 3D you know, uh, visualization. Your subconscious sent its id monster out again. More deaths, Morbius. More murder. And now this, too, harm my own daughter. But now she's defying you, Morbius. And even in you, the loving father, there still exists the mindless primitive. More huh. enraged. Interesting. So whatever the subconsciousness doesn't like, it immediately starts to attack anything that sort of goes against his own will. It attacks... It must be true. Yes, I must be you. Then help us, Doc. I've known you. I've known you great and noble like the Krell. He, well, his, his, react, his, his seemingly his reaction is authentic enough to believe that he never knew that it was his subconsciousness all along. Stop! No further! I deny you! I give you up! seems to have stopped it. it well either either he, he succeeded or morbius is dead it must be a hundred million miles out in space the growl furnaces chain reaction they cannot be reversed it's basic basically uh, going to implode so say goodbye to any more sort of colonization on that specific planet. Your father's name will shine again. Like a beacon in the galaxy. It's true it will remind us that we are after all that God. Ah, interesting last line. Interesting last line. Uh, nothing, sh no, no, no singular control should ever be left to one si one man. Thoughts. Wow. Wow. First thing, uh, 
I, I did realize that was Leslie Nielsen. He look, he did he did fantastic for his role over here. I only know him from the Naked Gun series, the comedy series, but he did, he actually did really good in this in this um sci-fi picture. Um I guess people can say this is sort of cheesy. I guess they can say um you know it's dated and whatever have you um that the science somehow doesn't add up or whatever have you or maybe the science is accurate um and uh, whether this was inspired by whatever uh, whatever have you for i got star trek vibes um obviously in star trek the you know a cr the krull is um if i'm not mistaken a specific race um of aliens but this movie was fantastic um extremely thrilling uh, great, uh, great film in terms of um, sort of trying to piece piece it together yourself. The mystery of the the father, um, what he realized with the krulls, um, what he uh, what he is keeping behind, what is he telling them, how much how much of it is true, how much of it is false. The daughter, what is her role? Is she completely innocent? Is she completely a bystander? And then Robbie, uh, Robbie's entire arsenal that he has. Um, and just the three of them being there at the very start with the, uh, you, well, you don't know what their whole entire goal is, um, uh, with the UC ship, um, and the commander and everybody, they had, they had their own commands, but at the same time, you saw their vulnerabilities, you saw them try to battle these invisible monsters. It did, you know, sort of lean into the third act really quickly. Um, you know, this could easily push two, two to th like two and a half hour film easily. This could have pushed it that far. Um, with the cinema scope, as I had mentioned, completely works in his favor in terms of the breadth of this galaxy, this, this vast empty galaxy, and then this very tight quarters inside uh, Morbius's, um, well, not his, but what he inherited, um, uh, his own um, study and his own laboratories. And then once you go in, you see the vastness of the Krull, um, you know, how many ever years ago their own uh what you call it their infrastructures that um, and how it it, it it's self-functioning self uh self-maintaining and all self 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 um so and clearly a a galaxy that should never have been inhabited a forbidden planet um in it's very right um other than it giving whatever it could give it definitely did take as well um so that's uh that's something but this was a really fun watch um and we just had to do it because it was so heavily um recommended uh in, in the um, um the day the earth stood still comment section and you guys never fail to recommend very interesting pictures that I've never seen um, long before I was born. So I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, do not uh, do not um, blast me for things that I have might have missed or whatever have you. Um, if if I did miss anything, um, if if I commented on something wrong. Uh, do correct me do correct me in a in a kind fashion and yeah I read all the comments I'll try to get back to you and we'll try to learn about this picture to make it even more um, epic than it is leading up to uh, your your next rewatch of the film whenever that happens um, but yeah very interesting watch and until the next sci-fi picture horror fi picture whatever have you the manchurian candidate does look really really interesting um but yeah looking forward to the next picture and yeah take care guys um um i, I would guess exploration with certain sort of protocols do, does demand um you know some some sort of um effort so go ahead and explore uh just not any forbidden planet take care guys what's up you cinephiles 
Thank you very much for making it to the very end. Me and Big Willie don't take that for granted. We really appreciate you. Now, if you'd like to show your support to us, you know what you can do up here. You can smash that button, really just smash it. And, you know, if you would like to check out some more content, they're all curated by days up over here and playlists. So, you know what? We hope you're having a great day. Don't crumble and just continue to smile and be a good bastion of cinema.